it's V here, the vegan health coach. And today I'm addressing a problem that a lot of new vegans, new people going on plant-based foods experience, and that is bloating. So um, the tummy, you know, starts to get full and uh, it, yeah, it, it feels awful. Um, and it's something that, you know, you do puzzle about. So if this is something that you are experiencing, just know that it is actually really quite uh, normal for it to happen and especially if you have been um, quite a animal protein type of person you know you've been eating a lot of animal proteins meats and dairy and that sort of thing um, and now you have switched into a plant-based uh, uh, way of eating and suddenly it's like you know your tummy is maybe a little even sore but you definitely have got this bloating now what this is, is that it is caused by um, the lack of good gut bacteria. So because you've eaten so much animal foods, you actually haven't had enough fiber. And now suddenly you are getting lots of fiber in your plant-based eating. So good bacteria, they need to have fiber in order to survive. So when you are not giving them the, fi the fiber, they tend to kind of like, you know, die off when you don't have as many of them. Um, plus the fact too that a lot of meats are full of antibiotics, which of course, again, will kill off these good bacteria. So unless you have been eating things, you know, like probiotics um, to counteract this, uh, which most people don't, um, you know, this is the reason is that you, your gut does need to have um, the fiber in it in order for, because the bacteria actually feed on the fiber and that's what helps them to stay alive and multiply and do all of their good things. And of course it pushes the food, helps to then push the food through at a much faster rate. So what can you do about it in these early stages? Well, you can actually look at um, making sure that you cut out or definitely cut down your sugar and cut out your processed foods. So even if you are using, say, tinned lentils or tinned um, chickpeas, that sort of stuff, just for now, cut them out and actually go ahead and bulk buy um, your beans, your peas, lentils and things like that and cook, cook them um, that way. Now you can actually cook a whole heap of them and do make sure that you soak them. They must be soaked and preferably overnight. So get prepared and then make up a big batch and um, so that they are there. So rather than grabbing the tins, you can just grab them out of the freezer and they're already done and cooked and ready to go. So that's one thing to do. Um, celery is another good food. Um, fennel is great. It's really yummy roasted too, by the way. Um, chia seeds, it's great. Pumpkin, sweet potato, bananas are really good. Um, tomatoes, asparagus. I mean, you know, there is quite a list. Try having a lemon drink um, first thing in the morning. So make it um, a warm, like take the chill off. Don't have it, you know, really cold. Um, take the chill off the water and put some uh, lemon juice in there and have a lemon drink in the morning just to kick start everything. Eat lots of parsley. That's another one that is, um, is really, really good. Wild rice and especially sprouted rice. Uh, now the other thing too is that you make sure that you really chew your food. Uh, that's, that's going to help also. And eat smaller meals and slow down. So, you know, give it time. So it will take time for your gut flora to be, um, uh, to, to repopulate. Um, uh, the, all those bacteria to repopulate in your gut and so that you know to help the um, the process but it will happen and you will be fine you look at fermented foods as well um, things like um, uh, kimchi uh, sauerkraut um, you know but just have small portions of them don't don't have a so like if you if you don't drink kombucha then um, you know and you want to try that just have a small glass of it don't drink kind of like the whole bottle of it um, so just take things in moderation and take them slowly and bit by bit you will find that that bloating will go um, worst case scenario the bloating does can go on for about three months but generally speaking it should start to right itself within a week two weeks okay but 
just know that that's what you're doing. You are actually trying to repopulate the good bacteria in your gut, and um, so it can it can handle the fiber that you're putting in. Hang in there. It's going to be fine. You're going to feel amazing for it. That's it for me. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.